Welcome to this video tutorial on how to export geometry from Rhino into 3ds Max for visualization and rendering. We're going to start by making sure our objects in Rhino are located at the origin point of the file. The reason for this is that 3ds Max sometimes has trouble recognizing geometry that is located very far from the origin point and it can cause errors when you're rendering out this geometry. So it's always best practice to move your objects to the origin point before you export them. To do this, we're just going to select our objects, click the Move tool, choose a point on the object, and then type in the coordinates 0, 0, 0, which is the origin point of the model. And that will just move that object onto that origin point there. Now, it's also good to note what units you're working in before you export the file. This particular object was modeled in millimeters, and we can always check that just by going to the Properties, and checking the units here to make sure the units you're measuring in because when we bring it into 3ds max it will automatically try and detect those units and it's important to check that they are correct before you bring them in now once you've done those checks we're going to then select our model go to file and export selected for the type to export as we're going to choose a dwg file type now the reason for using an AutoCAD DWG is that 3ds Max is an Autodesk piece of software. It's made by the same developers that make AutoCAD and the DWG file is their kind of standard 3D geometry or CAD geometry format. So this is usually the best file type to export as because it talks well with 3ds Max there. So we're going to select the DWG format here. We're going to give it a name and then we'll hit the save button here. Now, before it allows you to export this, it will come up with these export options. And we're gonna select the 2007 natural option here. And then we're gonna hit on edit schemes to make sure this is exporting correctly into our software. Now, the difference between 3ds Max and Rhino is that 3ds Max models in meshes and Rhino models in NURBS by natively. So in order to make sure that this is converted correctly, we need to make sure our surfaces are exporting as meshes, as you can see here, and our meshes are also exporting as meshes as well. So make sure these two are set to meshes, and then under curves, make sure all of these are set to splines, which is the native line format in 3ds Max. Poly curves, we can set to polylines with bulge arcs here, and that's fine. Don't worry too much about the rest of these parameters, we can leave these as default. The main one is these meshes here. And once we've done that, you can either save it if you've changed any settings in that scheme, or you can close it if the settings were as you originally intended them to be there. So once we've done that, we're going to then hit OK here, and it will ask us for the polygon mesh options. Now, people always want to kind of wrap this up to more polygons because they think that kind of increases the quality, but I'd recommend not always going to the top because it will subdivide your faces and make the mesh really dense when you bring it into 3ds Max. So I usually aim for a kind of a third up here or kind of a quarter level of the meshes. So you still get the kind of fidelity of the meshes, but you don't end up with a really high file size. And sometimes it's a case of trying different exports with this to see which one kind of gives you the level of detail you require. But I'm going to go for this option here, there. So we'll hit OK and that will now export our object out. And you can see up here that it's currently exporting. And when it's done, it will say file saved. So now that's been saved, we can now open up our 3ds Max file. And this is just a standard format 3ds Max file here. I'm using 3ds Max 2020 for this example, but this will also work in other versions of the software as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, we'll go Import, hit the Import button, locate our model file, which we've just exported, which is here. Hit Open and by default it will recognize the AutoCAD drawing so you don't have to worry too much about that but if you don't see it just make sure that you're set to all formats on the file type at the bottom and when we hit open you'll see a series of import options here now we want to make sure that the units matches 
the units that I'd set out in my Rhino file. So it understands that my incoming file units is millimeters. That's correct. So we can hit the rescale button and it will rescale it to whatever units you're using in your 3ds Max file. It's always important to just kind of note it beforehand because sometimes 3ds Max fails to recognize this incoming file units that it has done in this case. The rest of these, we don't need to worry about these settings, but we just want to make sure this auto smooth adjacent faces is on, which will make sure any kind of curved faces we have will automatically be smoothed when they come in. And then we can hit OK. There. Now, there we have our object imported in, and you'll notice that it's kind of split the object up as per the layers. So any layer I have here for the kind of external walls will be split into one single object. You'll notice here that the object comes in with no materials on, it's kind of a black model here and it's hard to see any definition in this perfect perspective view there. If we want to change that we can add a material or for the time being we can change the default shading to the clay shading there so we can see the object more clearly. And if you select the geometry you'll notice that all of these have come through as editable meshes there. So that's a quick tutorial on how to import data from Rhino into 3ds Max. And in the next video, we're going to look at how you could take this model and start to set up a render of this model in this software. Thank you for watching.